let me show you the main tools you'll be using with um, Cubase. You'll um, bring the toolbox up by right clicking on the mouse and there you go, you've got all the different tools that you use in the arrangement window. The main ones you'll be using are the pointer, the pencil, the eraser, the scissors, the um, glue stick, the mute tool and sometimes the speaker symbol as well. These other tools are used now and again and um, I'll talk you through those tools in the um, more tools section of the video. So let's start with a pencil. Selecting the tool is, is fairly straightforward as well. You just hover above one of the tools and let go. Let's go back to the pencil and let's start. With a pencil you can create new parts just by clicking in the arrangement window. It doesn't matter where you click. Just create new parts and you can also create longer parts just by clicking and dragging like that. Once you've got the parts created then you can change the length of the parts. If you click somewhere in the second half of the part, the part becomes shorter or longer. And if you click anywhere in the um, first half of the part, then you change the beginning point of the part obviously. Let's do the same thing again. Long part, change the start position of the part, and here let's change the end position of the part. Parts are created according to what you've got set in your snap um, setting here. So um, with the snap set to bars, we can create parts that are, let's say, four bars long or that start on bar positions or two bars long. And if the um, snap position is set to half a bar, then we can start our bars, um, our parts on B3 at the minimum positions. And we can also let's say we start in bar 21, we can have a part that um, goes for one and a half bar. While you are um, creating those parts, you can keep an eye on this, this field there. This field will tell you how long the parts are going to be. So it tells me it's going to go up to bar 15. And this one is going to go up to bar 18 and it's going to be on beat 3. Let me show you the next tool. Let's go with the scissors. The scissors are straightforward. You just cut cut into the um, parts. At the moment the snap setting is set to bars, which means I'll be cutting here in bar 5 for example. And um, if the snap setting was to half a bar, I could cut here in bar 4, B3 or here exactly on the bar because the um, part starts on beat 3. I could cut thinner slices by um, selecting let's say quarter notes or eighth notes. With an eighth note here you can see the um, field reads now bar 16 beat 4 third 16th note. Now I'm on beat 4 two small slices and if it was set to a quarter note then you can cut here for the for the beats. Let's quickly create a few parts that are on top of each other. There's one and there's another one. Let's select all of these parts, get the scissors out again and now if I um, cut through the parts, all the parts have been cut. In fact it's all the parts that are selected. If I cut here now, only that one um, was cut and if I um, select all of these and cut there all of those um, parts were cut. The next tool I'd like to show you is the the glue stick. With the glue stick you can just click here and um, stick the part together like that. Click, click and, and um, at first we had like four parts and now we've got one part again. This also works going from one part to the next part even though there's not a part in between. And um, if you press Alt on the keyboard while you're doing this, you glue the whole lot together. I'll do the same trick here. Now if I press um, Alt while um, gluing all these parts together, one click will make all of these come back together again. And finally, if you find that you've got too many parts or um, you want to get rid of a few, then you can use the eraser. If you click once, you'll delete the parts one by one. And if you 
click on a part and drag, you can um, erase all of them in one go. Also, you can select a, ho um, a load of parts and then just click on one of them and they'll all disappear. And finally, let's have a look at the pointer tool. This one here with the pointer tool, you can select parts, select other parts, select tracks, select parts, and you can also deselect the parts by clicking anywhere else, like deselect that one. You can select multiple parts by just drawing rectangles around them, and by um, by pressing shift, you can you can select these parts and press shift now those parts as well. And if you then want to deselect this one here, you just press shift again, and the part is deselected. Now, once you've got a, a part or a few parts selected, you can then move them about like this. And um, according to what your snap um, settings are, let's set this one to bar. Let's create a new part here. Now, um, with the bars, with the snap setting um, set to bar, we can move this part from bar to bar. And keyways gives you an indication of where the part is going to land in the end. Can you see the um, dotted lines? And if the um, if this one was set to half a bar, we could drop the part even on the um, third beat of a bar. Let's um, create some more parts. Select all these parts and all of those parts can be moved with a pointer up or down. The only problem is once you've got information in one of the parts, either some audio material in an audio part or MIDI information in a MIDI part. Let's quickly create some MIDI information by just adding a few notes with a pencil like this in the um, editor. Now this is um, a definite MIDI part. Before it was just um, an empty part not containing any information. But now because we've got information here, every time I drop it onto an audio track, like one of those tracks, it turns the track into, into a MIDI track. See this? And earlier on, this part down here turned the MIDI track into an audio track. Now I'll take this part and drop it off in in this track there, where we've got some definite MIDI information, and we'll see what happens. Let's drop it there, and it says the MIDI track cannot be converted into an audio track, and um, Cubase won't let you drop this part onto the MIDI track because they've got different different bits of information inside them.